So here we are, Cameron and Charlie, driving down to the Fall From Grace Wine Labs just to see how Jilly Smith makes her award-winning wines. Now, as you can see, she's not doing too bad. Jilly is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz. She has a 180 compressor. And as you can see, we have a 120 Hyundai. So I'd just like to do a call out to Mercedes-Benz. We need a better car. All right, thank you, cut. Okay. Yeah, so what we've got here, so this is a vine. It's winter now, so of course the vines are asleep. They're dormant. Right. So we prune the vines. So uh -huh. they all look very neat, beautiful haircut. This is a biodynamic vineyard, so we don't add any chemicals here. We don't spray. Um, and these are the little buds we leave. So in each of these little, um, uh, sticks you're going to find either some uh, leaves or a bunch of grapes okay. they're all sleeping so they'll sort of come out in spring at bud burst yes and then this vine will turn into a fantastic green um, plant with lots of uh, berries and the berries will ripen so this is our first stage so we pick those grapes yep. and then we head into the winery okay let's have a little look at some equipment and um, quick lesson winemaking 101 with Jilly she's the expert the godmother of winemaking in South Australia, doing fabulous things, taking the world by storm. Wow. So here we are in the cellar, Charlie. We've just been out to the grapes where all the grapes are grown. Just into um, Jilly's workshop, we'll call this. It's amazing. She's got a perfect setup, beautiful wines. We've got barrels over here. Next season's uh, award-winning wines, I must say. I hope so. And then what equipment do you have here, Jilly? Yeah, let's have a look at the equipment. So we've picked the grapes, we bring them into the winery. And then we're going to put them into the crusher, or we might crush them with our feet. And then they go into a fermenter. So we've got several types of fermenters here. How big is the fermenter? Um, this one is a ton. One a ton, one fermenter. ton fermenter. There's a song in that, I think, Charlie, but back to the serious stuff. So this is one of the fermenters we use. And then we also we make our wine in pots, not pot wine, even though it's South Australia, we make wine in pots. <laughs> so this is um, a 300 litre terracotta pot that we have here made by a fantastic uh, um, potter. Yep. And I ferment my grapes in here, very much the old fashioned traditional way. Very European, isn't it? Very European. So the, the grapes sit in here, um, the ferment creates a vortex. In fact, we put like a little plastic condom on it because that bubbles up as it gets really crazy. Safe wine making kids. Safe wine making. So that's the only way to go apparently. And uh, once the wines have fermented all the sugar that's in that juice, and we call that dry wine when all the sugar's been fermented, we actually leave the wine on its skins in contact with the skin so it gets lots of colour. Because in red wine all the colour comes out of the skins of the grapes. Beautiful. Fantastic. Hey, can I have a little smell? Yeah, sure. Okay. These are beeswax lined with local beeswax. beeswax. Wine. Oh my god, I think I could move in here. It smells so good. So John, what's this beautiful piece of equipment called? This is called a basket press. So it looks a bit like a basket. So once the wine's fermented, we take it out of the pots or the fermenter. Um, we put all the skins and the, um, the grapes into here. Mm -hmm. The juice that comes away easily is called the free run and that goes into a barrel on its own. And then we press this. Okay. So we squeeze out all of the juice that we can get from those grapes, but mm -hmm. it's a very gentle process. Okay. And really good for exercise too. So no grapes are hurt? No process. grapes are hurt in the process. That's what um, we like kids. Yep, safe wine making. Safe and, wine uh, making. And um, natural wine making. Lovely. Okay. So here we go, Cameron and Charlie, we've got the finished product. Now, Jill, can you just tell us a little bit, bit about the Lolita? That was the award-winning wine. Yeah, so this is Arnaise. It's a, um, a Northern Italian variety. And I, this is what we call an orange wine. So I make a white wine like a red wine and we leave it on its skins for about two months. So it gets a little bit of tannin that white wines don't normally get. And um, then we put this in uh, to barrel for 12 months and then it gets bottled. Fabulous, and this one here, Jill? Oh, this is Nero d'Avola. So this is from Sicily, this grape variety originally. Mm. And it's it's absolutely beautiful. So very Italian in style, savoury, structured, pretty sexy. Um, and all of our wines are named after fallen women. Lovely. And they all have sexy names and it's just a sexy wine that you've got here. I think so. It's all about sex. All for right? sexy people. So Cameron and Charlie, people. for you and I. You're not on the, the list. Not that we're a couple, but we are on the list. <laughs> And thanks, Julie, for this beautiful demonstration about your amazing wines. Everybody, we're going to hashtag Fall From Grace. You've got to look them up. You've got to order your wines quick because there's only a limited amount and they're not going to last. Okay. No, they, they're not going to last. All right. Cut.